Hey, Sneaker is back in the house. Yeah, we're back today with another distribution. Before we get on to the other stuff, today we have MX16, okay? Yeah, MX. MX, not motocross. It's a Linux distribution, guys. Oh, we've got 21 updates. Did you see that? Blimey. I've just installed it to the hard drive. Now, MX16, or MX, this is the public beta, by the way. This is not, it's not fully done yet. They're still working on it, okay? It's um, a, a collaboration between the NTX guys and that Mepis, or was it, was it simply Mepis? Or something like that. From way back in the day, that was. And we've come up with MX16. Now, Debian based, so that's lovely jubbly, super stable. It just looks different and comes with a lot of different stuff. The downloads, not too bad. It's for a current uh, band connection. Should be right, yeah. It's all right. And I thought I'd just quickly go through it with you and see what we got. So, as you can see, it's got XFCE as its desktop. Yeah, but a weird one. They just made it them their own, really, didn't they? Just made it their own. I oh, know, I oh, know, I oh, know, I oh, know. So, what have you got? Well, not too much. Got a little clock up there, look. Just, yeah, all about this tiny. I would have preferred it a bit bigger, but hey, what do I know? I don't know nothing, do I? I just, I'm just live here, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, we're going to go through it again. Here we go. Boom. Right. Firefox is your browser, so we'll open the browser, see what happens. Da -da -da -da, and it goes straight to their page. What I'll do, I'll leave a link in the description down below, and you can go and have a look if you want and download it and give a play with it. It seems to play well in VirtualBox, so that'd be all right. You know, super duper. Now I'll choose. I'll share later. Don't worry about that. But it tells you all about it here. If you want to read more about it, go to their web page, and you'll find out all about it. All right. Okay. That's that bit out of the way. Menu-wise. <clears throat> You got a start button down here, right on the bottom left, if you want to do the old-fashioned way, or you can right-click the desktop and do it the XSE way. Oh yeah, I know, I know. So I go to desktop settings for the time being. You only get a few wallpapers to start with, okay? So I will change it to that one. Looks rather interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's rather purplish, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah. But obviously, you can put whatever wallpapers you want. I'm up to you. Anyway, let's get get down to the nitty-gritty now. What do we get with our download for MX? When any of you used NTX before, you'll know the sort of thing you're going to get, really. This is what you're going to get. Okay. So, we'll go to accessories first. You get quite a lot. Can you see? Of course, you get the usual archive manager and calculator. You could get a GTK hash to compute your GTK hash codes and stuff, yeah? Nice. You like the GTK greeter settings? Yeah. A lucky backup as standard. Midnight Commander. Whoa, well, back in the day. Oh, a skinnable clock as well. Do we click on that? What have we got? Oh, that's all right, isn't it? Can I move that? Oh, I suppose you could do, couldn't you? Do you want to stick to desktop? Yeah, yeah, we'll stick that there. That's all right. I don't mind that. Nice. I'm using no CPU and only a little bit of my memory. Been Debian base, it's using very little memory anyway, as you know. Okay. Where was we? Oh, yeah, we went down there, weren't we? Got a notes application for doing notes. If I click on there, yeah, it's little sticky notes you can hang around on your desktop, which is rather nice for a change. Okay, a standard. See what I mean? A standard. This is the sort of thing I mean when you download, say, a gigabyte of a distribution, you really want everything there you need. Don't really want to go and have to download other stuff. There are other distros if you need to download stuff, right? So they've got it right on that section, as far as I'm believe, in my personal opinion. Under games. Chromium BSU, it's like an old-fashioned space shooter, really. Breakout, oh, do you remember Breakout? And Peggy to jump the pegs, okay? Not into games, don't worry about it. Remember, you can get Steam, so don't worry about it. You can get as many games as you like there, can't you? Under graphics, you get Gimpage, okay. LibreOffice Draw, because it comes with a full suite. Mirage, for looking at your photographs. And Shotwell, okay, nice. Oh, and a GI to either scan to PDF process. Oh, I like the look at that, that looks rather nice, isn't it? So I'll open Gimpage up and have a quick look while it opens up. Nice and quick, isn't it? It is really nice and quick. It's not using only CPU, really. Or memory. You've got 2 gig of mem here, anyway. And it looks nice on the system, I must admit. So, yeah, I'm liking that. Good, good, good. Next. Internet. As you've seen, Firefox is your default browser of choice. You still get known PPP, then dial-up tools for when you're in the middle of nowhere and all there is on a phone line. Hex chat, Chunderbird and transmission for your torrents. Yeah, it's all right. Multimedia, okay. Only one thing missing here from me is uh, a video. Do you know what I mean? That open shot or Caden Live. Although, as far as I'm aware, the new Caden Live is not playing very well at the moment for some reason. I don't know why. It was always a bit picky before, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? 
but yeah, maybe it's a good word. But as I don't use it too much, it's not such a big thing for me. A sun is a good one to have here, so I like that. An XF burn, nice, nice, nice. I've been using XF burn a lot more recently. Yeah, I've got no burn there. A lot more recently for the simple reason a K3B is having some trouble with certain files. So I've just gone over to XF burn. Still does the job. Not as good. No, not as good, but it does the job. Okay. Okay. Of course you knew that anyway, didn't you? Under office, the full Libra office suite, yeah. And you still get Orage as well. PDF shuffler, oh, good, good, good. So there's lots of little stuff here that you wouldn't normally get in a distribution that come as standard here. So that's what I really like. So we boot up Libra Office 5. That's not as quick as the one the other night, is it? That's taking a bit of time, but hey, it's still there. I could have had a drink of water there, couldn't I? Yeah. I'm open up the writer. I might have to change the theme for that personally for me. I'll be really honest with you. But yeah, it's okay. It does the job. And you've got the full office suite there. So that's good, isn't it? Really? Yes. Nearly in now, let's see. Time to I'm trying to keep these videos under six to seven minutes because otherwise I'd get bored watching them, to be honest with you. Right, under settings. Here we are. Appearance, alternate configurators, a Bluetooth manager, desktop settings, file manager, G parted. Yes, comes as standard. The grub customizer. I like that being installed as standard because sometimes you want to do it yourself. Do you know what I mean? Of course you do. The MX panel orientation. Good, 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 good. good. Should I look at that? Might as well go here. Display panel identity. Display panel vertically. Psh, yeah, it's all right. Restore default panel. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Does what it says on its tin, doesn't it? Configure your fireball. Good, good, good. It's all here for you to use and it's as standard it just comes as you know it just works and under system bleach bit be careful when using bleach bit because sometimes it will eat up at some of your hard drive if you don't adjust some of the settings and some of you will know all about that won't you yes of course you will htop of course is here nice mx boot repair good the broadcom manager for your wireless just in case it's playing up as sometimes they do and mx codex installer oh should we click on you it wants my password, so I'll chuck that in. Da, da, da. Hopefully, I've got the right one today. Da, 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 da. Yes, because sometimes it can be illegal. Remember that. So you do it at your own risk. I didn't tell you to do it, remember? I'm just showing you. It's running the command now to get all my codecs that I want. And it's installed in there. So you can play DVDs and stuff like that. So it won't be a problem. It ain't going to take long at all either, okay? Now, you know what? I just went to a bit of drinkies then. And it's finished. See? So all my codecs are already installed. Super duper. So now we've got a proper multimedia system. Oh, lovely job. Oh, yeah. Debian back ports installer. Oh, that's a nice little thing to have in there as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So they've thought of everything, really. Really have. And I did used to like NTX anyway. So that's good for me. Yeah. Let's open up a task manager here so you can have a look. Okay. So we're not using hardly anything at all. Look. Yeah. It's, it's lovely. I'm really liking it. Yeah. And you will too. MX16, I know it's only the public beta. I'd go and download it, use it now if I was you. you. Don't wait for it to come along. Just go and do it. Sneaky Linux going out. I say this. Bye, bye.